the huge amounts of snow in Orchard Park and mm -hmm. in Hamburg, but South Buffalo, South Buffalo was hit very hard as well. And two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik spent the afternoon checking out how the snow removal process is going for those people living in South Buffalo. Kelly, how is it? We're in South Buffalo tonight where 70 to 80 plows, city plows, state plows and private contractors are working to keep the roads clear. And they're getting to the other roads too. But this afternoon, just a few hours ago, when we were driving down Abbott Road, we saw a lot of side streets that just had tire tracks through them from people getting in and out and some side streets that hadn't been touched yet since the latest round of snow. Some drivers got stuck and struggled to get unstuck. Others decided to break out another form of transportation altogether and get a workout in at the same time. Judy Hayes lives in South Buffalo on a brick road. She lived there during November and says after you've dealt with that much snow, it's old hat. Usually we just let it, we let it run its course and you go out and you do it little by little. Um, we go out every 15, 20 minutes. If you're tired, take a break, come inside. Go back out, do a little bit more, and eventually you make your way to the street. We haven't done the sidewalk yet, but we'll get to we'll get to it when we can. I know there's the the band's supposed to shift further south again tonight, so we're gonna let that uh, run its course before we go out and do the dry the sidewalk. But we got the driveway done. And a city spokesperson told me late this afternoon that in addition to those 70 to 80 plows working here in South Buffalo, there are about 50 other plows in other parts of the city to help get the roads clear. In South Buffalo, I'm Kelly Dutzik reporting.